So um, if we look what is actually transportation, it's actually second largest uh, spending in most uh, families' uh, monthly budget. The first is usually your house, your home. Second is transport to go around the city to get to work to uh, other places that you need. Third is food, uh, and then it comes restaurants, hotels, travel, and fun. So uh, this, this means that it's, it's really a big and, uh, and actually one of the fastest changing industries. So, um, so if you want to do an impact, try to find an industry that is, that is big enough. So um, if we look globally, then transportation in the cities is a huge industry. It's around 11 trillion, and it doesn't even include international travel. It's just what's happening inside the cities. People getting to work, getting to uh, shops, and all of that. So, so it's a huge opportunity. And today, it's about 10 companies or platforms that are trying to approach that market and get a stake from that. Everyone's growing step by step, percent by percent. But if you look at the numbers, it's huge. If we look at globally, then, as, as I said, 10 uh, different companies are, um, are regional champions. And Taxify is competing in the central part of the world, covering Europe and Africa. And our aim is to win that region and uh, to become number one. We have been growing really fast. So um, if you look at uh, the numbers, we, we grew 10 times in our monthly rides during last year. So that puts us as one of the fastest growing companies in Europe, probably even Africa. And if we're talking about scale, then currently we are doing rides about 1 billion uh, euros a year. And, and we, we are still on fast growth, even with, in that kind of scales. So, um, yeah, we introduced motorbikes already earlier this year in Africa, and we are expanding that and co considering also bringing that to, to European cities. Next, uh, what we are dealing with is pooling. Pooling means putting multiple people in the same car so that the efficiency of the space grows, and uh, again, the price of the ride gets cheaper. So uh, that's what we are currently developing and launching soon. Next one in right hailing, uh, what we see in the near future is minibuses. So um, that would be a mix uh, between taxis and public transport. Minibus could have, let's say, seven to 15 seater, and uh, it's much more flexible than public transport, um, and, uh, and also cheaper than taxi. So it's something in between. You can book the mini minivan from your app, and it's coming close by to your house, and then driving to the destination together with more people. So um, that's, again, what we see in the near-term future. So I would say every business starts small. So we also started in Tallinn, our hometown, solving local problems there. And uh, when we got some traction and some growth from Tallinn, we started looking around and uh, uh, going to our neighboring countries, Latvia, Lithuania, Finland, so on. And, uh, and based on this initial growth, it was easy to find local funding. So we got small local investors to invest about $1 million, and that helped us to build the product and expand. But when um, second or third year, we really started to raise more funding, and that's when we actually found trouble, because we were a small company from Eastern Europe, and uh, investors didn't know us. We didn't have big background, and Marcus was also really young. It was his first business, just out of high school. So um, we actually found uh, very difficult to raise funding for, for a company like that. And especially, as you mentioned, there was big global companies with billions of funding in the same industry, and the investor mindset was, was very much difficult against small guys. They were saying, why would you win if there are big companies with billions of dollars and, and they, they didn't believe we can make it. So we had to naturally just grow with, organically with our own revenues and uh, cut the costs and figure out very small and innovative expansion model. And, uh, and then, yeah, we, we found good business opportunities in Africa, started growing faster, and then the, uh, then the investors came back to us and said that, whoa, 
If you have been able to go through a really difficult time without funding and still growing fast, then that's the team. We believe that they can do something bigger. And uh, then they started uh, investing in us. So, so yeah, it's, you start small, but you have to work day by day, solve every problem you face. And then when you really believe in the future, you work hard and you have really great team, then many things can happen, even go against the big global giants.